Okay, so uh, thank you very much, and um, good morning, everyone. Um, thank you for attending this talk. Um, so first, uh, this work actually we uh, we this is a joint work with uh, business school, and uh, uh, at the very beginning, we want to uh, conduct a research uh, about human centric recommendation. I mean, we try to develop a system to mimic and learn the decision process of a human being, rather than doing the you know collaborative filtering, matrix factorization thing. Um, and we want to see if we follow the very natural process, decision process of human being, if we can still beat or outperform the traditional CF, um, MF, uh, made factorization machine method. And uh, we want to submit the work to a business journal, actually. And uh, this is our preliminary work uh, along this line. So this is about how we revisit and, and rethink um, the decision process about choosing the uh, rental, uh, the rent, the lodging places in uh, Airbnb and in this P2P sharing economy platform. Okay. So this is the outline for our today's talk, and um, I'm going to start with the background and the motivation. So. Uh, I believe uh, even, uh, everyone, everyone knows that now today the sharing economy is totally a new model, new business model in our industry. And uh, say for example, connecting the uh, private cars with the mobile app, we, have, we can create a Uber and provide the sharing drives and connecting the bikes. And uh, with the, our mobile app, we can, have, we can create the, you know, the mobile and which is a very popular company in China so far, and uh, we can share in the bicycles, and also connecting the you know your apartments and houses you know in the Airbnb platform and also other P two P platform. We can create this you know um, sharing uh, the hotel and lodging sharing economics here. So in this platform, usually everybody can be a user and everybody can be a host provider, right? And then we provide homestay, and you pay me the money. Okay. So uh, I guess uh, when I arrive here, I also try to search the homestay in uh, in, in Halifax because I cannot research the hotel uh, in, in 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 this conference today. And, okay. And uh, here is an example for uh, searching the uh, lodgings in the Airbnb, and um, I can still remember when I was a student and I was very poor. And uh, the IBM gave me the you know, internship offer and they provide two options. The first option is that you can live in the hotel provided by the IBM. And the second one is they said, okay, I can give you some cash uh, allowance and you can choose to live in other places. So I immediately go to the, you know, go to the Airbnb and try to search. But I find this is really a painful process and I will show you how and why. And first, um, the first challenge about this payful process is, you know, the lodgings in this Airbnb, this P2P platform, actually, they are very dynamic. Sometimes they are on the market, sometimes they are off the market. So we can see that the rating um, data or comments actually are very low quality, say very sparse, or maybe uh, all the ratings are almost the same. So there is no information in this rating data. And the second challenge there is, you know, these lodgings actually are, are mostly are private. So you don't have a lot of publicly available information to identify uh, what's the details in these places. And uh, sometimes uh, you might find that it, it, this description on the website actually are not accurate. And there, there are a lot of things mixing regarding the uh, amenities, okay? And finally, you know, when, since we, we need to travel to the new places and uh, new cities, so we actually we are not familiar with the city. So we can see sometimes I, I don't want to live in a very noisy place, I don't want to live in an unsafe place. So this is a very um, painful um, process, okay? And, uh, but here is how, you know, people try to uh, make decision uh, in Airbnb. So for me, I will do that like this. Uh, first, I will search the Airbnb to filter out the, you know, these uh, candidate log, uh, lodging places based on my constraints, the time, the cost, whatever. And then I will look into other, you know, third party information. Say, for example, how people look at this neighborhood, these places, is that safe, is that noisy, and uh, is that convenient or not? 
And then I will also uh, look at the Google map and to see the POI, the road networks, and all these type of you know, third party uh, information. And also I will communicate with the host. So actually I don't, uh, I, I, I don't look at the uh, recommendation tools in, in Airbnb and to, uh, to totally do that by myself, okay? And um, so this is the business pain. And uh, our thinking is um, if we rethink or revisit such a task, such a nature, you know, human being centric decision process in this Airbnb, and can we develop a system that can just simply, you know, mimic such a process? And say, for example, uh, we don't have to look at this uh, rating data, and we want to maximize the, you know, the accommodation utility, and to make sure this place is convenient, and we want to minimize the risk, and uh, and they can also follow my personalized constraint. And uh, finally, I can achieve a multi-criteria optimization, okay? And so if we can do that, I think uh, we want to see if we follow such a very natural decision process, can we still beat the traditional supervised learning method, okay? So here there are some uh, challenges for us to uh, develop such a system. So first, it's uh, unsupervised, and can we do that and without the existing common rating data there? And second one is, uh, can we uh, bring in the third party information to automatically summarize you know, all this uh, information and to put the scoring about the positive side and negative side of all these places? And finally, how can we formulate this nature decision process of human being? Okay. So uh, here is our steps. So first, I want to construct some uh, different views, some different uh, features. Uh, it's a uh, binary opposite views, and uh, it's about some features about the uh, recommendation utility. Uh, it's positive features. And we also construct some community safety related features. It's negative features. And uh, once we construct this information to, uh, to build a representation about each neighborhood or lodgings, and we want to do uh, automatic summarization and scoring about these places, so uh, there are three steps uh, along this line. The first, we need to do the unsupervised feature selection. And basically, we try to minimize the redundancy because we can extract many, many uh, positive or negative information. And, uh, uh, but here, we use a pairwise uh, angle and, uh, to, to uh, measure the pairwise redundancy between every two features and so such that we can create a graph, and then we can uh, develop, develop an algorithm to select a subset of these features. And second, uh, we hope to uh, create other weight, uh, feature weights, um, and um, in, in this way, we can combine the feature and the weight together and to do, do the field scoring. So here, we use a uh, graph-based unsupervised method, and uh, this is our uh, four steps. So first, we uh, treat each place as a feature vector. And then, uh, and then we can certainly construct a, a pairwise um, similarity graph. And uh, in this graph, each node will be a place. And each edge will be associated with a similarity. And then uh, we can have a, such a graph. And then we have a very interesting intuition. That is, if two lodgings or two places are very similar to each other, we can believe that. And also, if the, this feature is very important and has a high weight, and it has a very strong classification power, then we should believe um, the feature value of the uh, first lodging place is similar to the feature value of the second lodging place. And then we can combine um, all this information together and we use a normalized discounted or cumulative gain method to, to measure the uh, feature power or the feature weight together, okay? Uh, there are more details uh, about along, uh, in the paper, so uh, we can look at into the paper. And finally, once we had the, the uh, selective uh, non-redundant feature back, and we also uh, measure this unsupervised weights, we can certainly do the uh, aggregate uh, scoring here. Okay. Then uh, we go back to this uh, very natural uh, human beings decision process. Um, uh, our idea is uh, we follow our 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 thinking. So first, we want to find the candidates, and so we can maximize the utility and minimize the risk. And also, we follow our personalized constraint. And naturally, we can use our in our integral uh, MIP uh, programming uh, method to formulate that. 
And uh, regarding solving the problem, of course, we can do a uh, BB, um, branch and bound method, and say, for example, usually we can use the uh, strong branching and to measure the information gate and all the gate of the branch. But actually, there are some limitations uh, for this uh, strong branching method because uh, you need to uh, go through all the uh, candidate branching variables and, uh, and it takes uh, quite a lot of time. So uh, we found that in the machine learning uh, theory, uh, there are some people they propose uh, research to uh, about learning to optimize. So uh, we consider can we also build uh, such a branching selector to mimic the this branching variable selection, uh, which uh, the decision process can be optimized. So generally, there are three steps. First, we collect the data about this strong branching. And then we do the offline learning to learn uh, anyway or predictor or selector there. And finally, we can do the online selection and to select the branching variable here. Then this is an example how uh, in the machine learning area, they uh, try to apply this method to do the uh, machine learning based BB. And, but we found that uh, when we uh, try to apply this technology, we found that many packages actually they cannot extract or easily uh, identify the global strong branching score. So uh, in many cases, we can observe um, like which variable is selected, but not the global score. So we, we think about can we make that generalized and can be easily adopted. So uh, we propose a uh, aggregated list-wise softmax and binary response branching selector. So generally, uh, we have to um, collect this binary uh, selection indication for each branching, and uh, each branching will represent one list, one list, and then we can uh, use the softmax function and create our uh, objective function. And then uh, we, uh, we also do the theoretical inference. Uh, we identify a lower bound, and uh, we, so we can solve this problem uh, using gradient descent. So uh, here is, is uh, some, something about our experiment. Uh, we uh, collect the data of, uh, about the AMBMB from the New York City, and we also have some POI data from the uh, street map in New York City. And uh, we collect the tracking data from the Foursquare and also some uh, crime map data and complete data here about, uh, about this New York City. Then uh, our evaluation actually uh, can be evaluated in terms of the multi-aspect rating uh, uh, information because in Airbnb, they have this satisfactory satisfaction rating and they also have other measurements such as the um, time or market about this place, is that popular or not? And uh, we also have the information about the review count about these uh, lodging places. So if the rating, like satisfaction rating, the higher the better, and for the time on market, usually it's uh, smaller, the better. And uh, for the review count, of course, uh, the higher, the better. Okay. Then uh, we use the precision recall and, of, or, and also of measure to uh, measure these uh, performances. Then we comparing to uh, some baseline method about the supervised ra ranking and also this uh, unsupervised uh, ranking method. So first, uh, we want to answer um, in Airbnb, um, so when people want to select a place, um, which is the major factor, like the uh, convenience or the safety or, or, or risk. And even the, in the EMBB, uh, they do not provide any filtering tools there. And they do not provide any scores about uh, the convenience about this you know, neighborhood or the safety uh, score about this neighborhood. So uh, we, uh, after we try to do different experiments, we identify the lambda. Lambda is the weight uh, about the uh, utility accommodation utility over the community risk. And we found that the lambda, when the lambda equal to 0.75, that is the best uh, result, then uh, we, we have a management implication here. So uh, I mean, there is a latent implication. The user actually they emphasize more on the risk, the safety issue, rather than the convenience when they're choosing Airbnb lodgings. And we also uh, evaluate the, uh, this unsupervised method uh, in terms of different perspectives, uh, uh, in terms of the satisfaction rating and time on market and review counts. And we, uh, we found that 
just simply by bringing this heterogeneous information and by this unsupervised, unsupervised uh, weighted scoring and by this integrate uh, MIP method, uh, follow just very nature, you know, human centric process. We can uh, we can still beat this uh, you know you know this supervised uh, ranking method or recommendation method, and this is very interesting. And and why the method is simple, but we we, we don't need the supervised information, and uh, but it still beat the the, the uh, rating based learning. Okay. Um, we also chat, conduct a balance chat because you know people. Always, when they make a decision, they want to find a balance between but different uh, perspective and different criteria. Say, for example, I want to find a place very cheap, and I want to live a place in very, very safe, and I want to uh, live in a place that is very convenient and have a high uh, transportation connectivity. So we we try to uh, do the balance check here and comparing to other uh, supervised and rating based method. And uh, we found that uh, by this uh, formulation, uh, our methodology can achieve the uh, very good balance check, and they can strike this such a balance between the negative side and the positive side. So you can see the red circles here; uh, they are on the right and the upper corners, and uh, that means they outperform the uh, supervised method. And we also uh, take a look at some uh, at high consumption comparing to other methods and then that again validate that this learning uh, based um, optimization method can, uh, can uh, enhance the uh, high consumption. Okay. So now uh, I would like to conclude uh, the work. So uh, here we try to uh, answer if we develop a system uh, that try to mimic the human's nature decision process Say for example, uh, I try to look at the lodgings in terms of my constraint, and I look at the uh, safety and the negative side and the positive side, and uh, I also look at other review comments from the uh, third party information, and finally I communicate with the host. And is for such unsupervised process, can we still beat this you no know, rating based learning method? And we found that uh, yes, we can do it. And um, we, there are some technical uh, that can be generalized to other places. Say, for example, the unsupervised graph-based uh, fusion and scoring. And I think they can be used to uh, other places to do this you know, heter heterogeneous information fusion here to do the scoring. And um, also, uh, we found a management implication here that is uh, in Airbnb, the many users they actually they f f uh, emphasize a lot on the you know the risk and safety, and rather than uh, comparing to the you know the utility or convenience here, that's something uh, latent and can be identified from our study as a very important business implication here. Okay, and um, so um, thank you very much. That's all for my talk, and thank you for your attending. Mm -hmm.